This is calculator question number 29. College Board gives us a system of equations and says there are infinitely many solutions. If a system has infinitely many solutions or no solution, the slopes have to be the same. So let's write this in a form where we can see the slopes. First, I'm going to multiply this first equation by 3 on both sides to get 3 halves x plus y equals 3 over 6 is 1 half and ax plus y equals c. You may already see that a has to be 3 halves to be parallel. If not, let's put it in slope-intercept form. If I subtract 3 halves x from both sides on this, y equals negative 3 halves x plus 1 half. And here, if I subtract ax, y equals negative ax plus c. If the slopes are the same, negative 3 halves equals negative a. Multiply both sides by negative 1 and you get 3 halves equals a, which is choice d. College Board frequently, but not always, asks about systems that have either no solution or infinitely many solutions, but either way, you want these slopes to be the same. Come back soon for our next video. With math, there's always more.